I think that brainstorming ideas is a wonderful experience. I think we all do it. It's necessary. It's great for imagination, and it doesn't cost anything. The, the next uh, set of skills, I think, is more important. It's actually recognizing a good idea and then taking it from seed stage to a final product that people actually want. On one occasion, Tchaikovsky was invited to Madame Lavrovsky's house, and, and she was a singer and, and a teacher at the conservatory. So I imagine a scene where everybody is talking shop, and of course they saw Tchaikovsky, and they're saying, well, let's give him some great ideas for his next opera. Okay. So Madame Lavrovsky didn't offer that much. She was just giggling all night. Somebody else, some X person, was throwing out the stupidest, trashiest ideas, and I think it's to the annoyance of uh, Tchaikovsky, and so he was probably thinking, I really got to get out of here. Nevertheless, at the end, Madame Lavrovsky says, what about Eugene Onegin? Well, no major reaction from Tchaikovsky. He thought it was interesting, but did not respond to that. Now, later on, he was sitting in a restaurant alone, eating, and so he started to recall the conversations of the party, and the more he thought about Eugene Onegin, the more appealing the idea became to him. So he decided to go and, and find the novel by Pushkin, which wasn't an easy task those days, but he got a hold of it. Uh, Pushkin was a brilliant author, and we have to tip our hat to him because his poetry just sings itself. And when you add Tchaikovsky into the mix, I think you have some major magic happening. Tchaikovsky was infatuated with Eugene Onegin. I mean, just, I imagine that just, the, as he was reading, the melodies kept popping into his head. So he couldn't sleep all night. He just, just kept reading and reading and reading. He was particularly infatuated with Tatiana, for a very good reason, too. And um, it, it just was one of those moments that he was able to formulate and sketch the entire opera through the night. By morning, he had Eugene Onegin sketched out completely. <laughs>